Welcome to the Wayward Widow. It's evening. Hi. I wasn't going to do this because I'm not feeling great. Um, I'm getting, well, aside from my anxiety hives, I'm getting um, dizziness and vertigo. And um, it, that stopped me from taking a walk because it's almost 80 degrees here in my state, which is pretty amazing. Um, but I feel really bad. Uh, I had a hard time falling asleep last night. I could not get settled. I was so sleepy, but I could not fall asleep. I could not fall asleep. I tossed, I turned, I, I talked to God, I prayed, I, I cried, I, I did it all. Um, and I finally fell asleep around midnight. And I was up at 4.30. So, um, I'm just having a really rough time. I'm having a rough time. Uh, I did get a couple things done today. I always try to get something done. I figure if I get one thing done each day, I've accomplished. Uh, I did my laundry. I got everything hung up. Everything's air drying. I watered my plants. I took the recycling out. The basics. I got them done. Um, I read my card for the day, um, and uh, it's it was, it's a good one. Um, it's about uh, your mind is like water, and if it's not clear, you, you can't think. So it suggests to take 20 minutes out of your day and do something that you enjoy, like coloring or meditation, taking a walk, whatever. Um, I ate a little bit. I kind of grazed. I had some cucumbers. Um, I had a little bit of pork that was like one of those in the container, put it in the microwave things. Um, I had my iced coffee, decaf, and I'm finishing cup number three. Um, so this is 45 ounces plus my 10 of spring water is 55 ounces. I'll have this done in just a little bit. So 55 ounces, and then I'll go fill my fourth cup which will give me 70 ounces. Uh, I am feeling the struggle of being alone today harder than normal because my son came over and spent about two hours with me. Um, he's not feeling well. He gets car sick um, since he, he was real sick in the hospitals when he gets in the car and there's motion, he feels really poorly. He also is not sleeping well. He is not eating a good regular diet. Um, I'm really worried about him. He's getting some nosebleeds again. Um, the last time he got a nosebleed, he had to have a cauterization done up in the sinus cavity. So I'm keeping tabs on him and... Um, uh, he re-upped his lease for another month. It was It's one of these things where he was paid, his 30-day lease ends tomorrow, but his landlord gave him a 45-day lease with a discounted price, which would take him to about May 12th, May 13th. So the job that he's on is a few blocks from where he's living, and he's, he's, I believe he's able to catch a ride from point A to point B. And they're working on a new project. He, if he was here, the distance is too much. This new project that's coming up should only last a couple of weeks, um, two to three weeks. And so... His rent is actually paid until the 12th or the 13th of May. So he was able to pay. The landlord said, well, if you're going to stay till the 13th, I want, he wanted the full month paid. So he paid the remainder and he's good now until June 2nd. Um, so I've got two days left in this month, two days left in June and the whole month of May on my own. 
and my old, old friend that comes up and has coffee now and then, he's going away, actually, on May the 8th, and he's not coming back for two weeks. He's going down, down south for some graduations. And so, well, talk about, like, being completely on my own. I'm completely on my own. And it's, it's, it's scaring me, to be honest. Uh, I recognize that what I'm doing, which I think we all do when we're first left behind, is we're counting the days since our loved one left. The days become the weeks, we count the weeks, and then we count the months, and we count holidays, special occasions. We mark the day, the month, the date. Um, I have that little calendar, that little wooden calendar, and I just went over and turned it to February 27th because that's the day when things stood still for me. And I'm going to keep it at February 27th until who knows how long. I don't know. Um, I did his Duolingo this morning. I did one lesson to give him his daily streak. I could only do one. I just couldn't go any further with it. And I do recognize that I'm living in his death. I'm not living in his life. I'm constantly living in his death. And I need to flip that for me, for my mental health, and for him, for his memory. And okay, I know he's dead. I know, I know that. I know when it happened. I know how it happened. I know why it happened. I, I've got all that. Nothing's going to change that, no matter how many days I count. But I had 13 and a half years with this man. And if I keep focusing on the death, I'm going to keep forgetting the life. And I need to really start thinking about the memories that him and I made over that 13 and a half years and live in those as opposed to living in his being gone. Uh, this is an incredibly lonely experience. Now, if he was here, like I said the other day, if he was here and he was in the other room and I chose to be in my room on my own, read or watch a video, that's one thing because I know he's there. But he's not there now. There's no one here. I'm in this big apartment by myself. And there's a big difference when you're completely alone. A big difference. There's a lot of fear in me. Um, I'm downright scared, to be honest. I'm very scared to be here alone. And I miss him to such a degree that it's so affecting my mental health I almost can't stand it. Like, I feel like I need someone with me to keep me okay. And I don't know. I don't know who to call. I guess put in a call tomorrow for my, um, my, uh, I have therapy on Tuesday. So if I can manage until Tuesday. I don't want to go into the hospital, but I wonder if my health insurance has anything in my mental health health insurance because I have I have Medi Medicaid, I have Medicare, and I have mental health insurance. And um, I don't know if there's anything in that insurance where someone can come over once a week or a couple times a week just for an hour or two and just hang out with me, just someone to talk to, someone to be with me. Um, I'm not good alone. And so I'm trying really hard to work through what I'm feeling and make sense of it and get to the root of my fear and figure out what to do. Because there's no one that I can move in with like, there's, there's absolutely no one I can move in with um, that I know. Uh, so, I have to stay alone. Uh, my son lives in, in an efficiency. He's in one room. Um, I Like, I never even thought about saying, oh, hey, can I move over with you? 
there's because there's no room um and he's in the city and it's it's not good but uh maybe more like facetiming and stuff like that uh i'll be right back okay i just up and stopped the video because i got a messenger that i really wanted to get uh to read to make sure everything was okay uh so anyway i am struggling and well i mean kind of like what do i expect you know like I don't know at what point this is going to get easier or, you know, when I'm going to feel better. I always feel so sleepy, so tired, so fatigued. Um, I have now, I believe, I keep saying I have all the paperwork done. Um, I finished all my compass, compass stuff yesterday, but I will put in a call tomorrow to the department just to make sure that all the documents went through so that I know that I've taken care of my part. And then it's up to them as to whether they say yay or nay um, for, you know, my Medicaid for the next year. Um, but I will double check because, you know, you put documents in, you want to make sure that they go in through. And um, I don't know if I said this, but I had to buy more iCloud storage. I was, everything was full, nothing was getting backed up. So... Um, I had to go to the two ninety nine a month plan. It's fine. Three dollars a month. It's fine. I'm not. It's not a big deal. So, I'll make that call in the morning. I'll make sure the documents are there. If they're all there, good. Then that's done, and I just wait it out. Um, waiting on the phone to see whether that comes in the mail. My son said it certainly should. Um, and. Uh, he said it's a real basic phone. Uh, it's it's good for talk and text, and that's all I'm looking for. Uh, my phone is old, old, and it's going to, at some point, just stop working. So I need to have a backup phone for my emergency, whatever. I'm here alone. And, um, yeah, frustrated um, being here alone. And I just, um, I, I'm going to keep checking the churches, the local churches, to see when the next grief, in-person grief group starts. Because I want to get involved in the next round of in-person grief groups. And that probably will be in June. That's my guess, that they take month the month of May off and then June. So I'm restless, I'm anxious, I'm feeling a bit panicked, I'm not feeling good physically, I'm really tired. I'm going to um, close up the rest of the apartment and I think I'm going to go to bed. And it is, what time does that say? 25 to 7? Yes, it's going on seven. I just want him back. I want him back and I can't have him back. So whatever plan that God has for me is in place. And I have to just follow that because the path is already laid out. It's etched in stone. It's set. It's set for me. So I need to just walk it. And I will be led where I am to be led. Right? One day at a time. One thing at a time. And we'll get, I'll get through it. I guess I'll get through it. And uh, so I'm going to go. I'm going to. Close this blind right here, and I'm going to make sure the doors are locked, and I'm going to, I might actually make another coffee um, or get an iced tea or something. I feel like I need a little bit of sugar. Um, I'm just, I'm off. I mean, we, we all know I'm off, but 
from feeling un a bit unwell. Um, there's a there's a a couple things for you guys who follow Aaron, um, Benzo Buddy, My Crazy Life. She has a podcast now. Uh, check out her channel. Her podcast is in the link. I put Spotify on again, and I listened to part of her first one. She'll do fine. She's she's good. Um, check out her podcast. Give her some love. And there's a girl on, a woman. Um, I believe her name is, and I should know this because I watch her every day, Tanya FM. Tanya in capitals, FM in lowercase. Um, she's she's Russian, I believe, and she's in lives in New York City. She's separated from her husband. Her husband got her an apartment. They're living apart for a year. If I get, if I'm getting the story right, because he, he wants, he has to decide if she's the problem or he's the problem. Anyway, she cries a lot. It's like heartbreaking to watch her talking about loneliness and emptiness. And I'm like, girlfriend, I so feel you like seriously, but check her out. Tanya FM. Um, she has about 400 subscribers. Uh, she's an actress actor, actress. She works events also. And, um, yeah, check her out and check out, um, uh, what's her first name? Something Kelly, Kelly DeMarco. She was just talking about her video is on thriving, thriving after the death of your loved one. And what is thriving? So there's a couple to check out. I'm going to go. I'll, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. That's the goal. We'll see what God has in store for me, but that's the goal.